Hey guys, welcome to another episode. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Microsoft Office's mail merge function to send newsletters on your own without needing a third party uh, subscription or anything like that. Hey guys, my name is Dobri and uh, in this video I want to take a look at the different way that we can use mail merge. It's a tool that allows you to generate personalized files so you would have like the name, the email, the address, an invoice amount or something like that and you can generate invoices or you can generate uh, letterheads or uh, emails. A lot of businesses rely on uh, newsletters to keep in touch with their customers and uh, a lot of content creators do that as well and uh, there are a ton of subscription based platforms where you can do that. Uh, some of those are even free. The problem is that you get quite a lot of limitation and it can also be quite problematic sometimes to take out all the data that you've collected there. What I've been using for small newsletters lately is uh, I've been using Mail Merge and what I do is I have like a WordPress form that gathers emails and then I can download that as CSV and there's a ton of free plugins that can do that. I'll then type in my email, format it in Word, and uh, use Mail Merge to distribute it to all uh, people on the address book. Before we get started, quick reminder, Minty Tools, the Excel plugin that I'm working on, will be coming out soon, and I'm actually thinking of launching like a closed beta, and uh, all participants will get it for free after that. So if you wanna be a part of that, leave your email on the first link in the description below. Also, if you enjoy the content, thumbs up will be awesome and a sub to the channel will be amazing. Let's get started. I have a list here with uh, some of my uh, subscribers, a promo code and a discount percentage that's associated with the promo code. Those are just like randomly generated uh, email addresses. You see that the first email is actually my mintianalyst.com email, which I'm gonna use for testing. The idea is that I wanna send a message to, to this email list, and uh, then I wanna send those uh, people some promo codes to try out my software. I also have an email text written here in Word, which says, uh, hi, first name, gonna be putting the first names here. I bet you use Excel for modeling projects, right? Then I uh, present the Minty Tools plugin and I tell them that uh, they can try the seven day trial or they can get a lifetime access with a discount percentage and they just need to use their promo code. Something else I've done here is have a small table with a logo and the link to my website. And I also have a disclaimer down here because Anytime you reach out to a mailing list, it's a great idea to give people the opportunity to unsubscribe. And for me in Europe, I'm actually uh, legally required to do that. So what I've done here is I just have this link, selected the whole text, go to a link, and uh, I have it, so mail to is my email. The subject is unsubscribe and that's how I know that I need to remove these people. So all they need to do if they want to unsubscribe is click this link and send an empty email. What we want now is to be able to send this email with all the yellow text personalized to each recipient from here. The way to do that is mail merge. So if I go to the mailing tab in uh, Word, I have start mail merge click start and you can see you can generate letters, envelopes, labels, and what we wanna focus on is email messages. Click generate email messages, it converts it to an email. First thing we need to do is select our uh, list. So we can type a new list of recipients here. We can choose from our Outlook contacts, but what we wanna use is we wanna use an existing list. I selected uh, the file and here we need to pick the sheet and it's important to note here that uh, the first row of data contains column headers and if you go here you see that I have the headers up here. Click OK and now it's loaded and you see that some of the other options became available. What we can do is you can add address blocks if you have the address or greeting lines or insert merge fields. I'm gonna select my first name, go to the drop down here, insert merge fields and just say first name. Next thing I wanna do is I don't want it to be yellow anymore. The discount percentage, I wanna select that 
insert merge field and I want to go with discount and I also don't want this to be yellow as well and then the promo code insert promo code and also remove the highlight here I'm gonna input their email address here select this one insert email and to remove the highlight here as well. You can also, uh, instead of using the drop down, just click insert and you have here the fields and those fields correspond to the column headers from your Excel file. Now that we have that, we can preview our results by clicking this here. You can see that the first one, which is me, is Hi Dobromir. I bet you use Excel for modeling projects, right? Yep. Get lifetime access to Minty Tools with a 0.40002 discount. So for some reason, it's picking 0.4 or 40% as this huge number with two at the end. And uh, the problem here is that it doesn't translate the formatting from here. And there are two ways to make sure that this works. Probably the easier way is to just make those text fields, but this means that if you're working, let's say with like invoice amounts or, or things like that, if you convert those to text, you can no longer like make calculations with them. So the other way to do it is we grab the discount percentage, press control F9 to wrap it in curly brackets and then start with equals multiplied by 100 forward slash number formatting is going to be zero percent now we got a zero and now when we preview it still doesn't work but if we say toggle the field codes you see that for some reason it changed the discount percentage with zero just gonna delete it and right here when i'm equal to just gonna go and insert discount and now it's at 40 percent keep in mind that uh, this would show as a number because it's a calculated field uh, regardless of whether preview results is turned on or off but let's say if we enable preview results and I switch to let's say the third one gotiero you see that they have 75 percent and we now have high gotiero 75 percent the promo code is here what I might want to do is want to make it a bit bigger and bold it. Once we're done, we can go to finish and merge. And what we can do is edit individual documents, print documents and send email messages. Let's go ahead and try edit individual documents. Say I want to go from one to two. I want to look just at the first two records and we get a word file with the messages generated. So this is the first one, Hi Dobromir, 40% discount. See if that's my promo code, that's the promo code. And then we get the second one, Hi Tara, 40% discount with this promo code. Tara, 40% discount with this promo code. If we go back here, you can also like print the documents and you can once again decide which records you want. Let's say okay, and it would allow me to print. And we can also send the messages. Click send email messages. You have the option to pick the to address and it by default usually picks the email. You can add the subject line here and you cannot use merge fields in the subject line. Just say Menti Tools is available for you. Pick the mail format, so if uh, you're generating invoices or something like that, then you can make it as an attachment or you can just use plain text, which won't work with my image and links here and here. So I'm just going to stick with HTML and you can send to all records, just the current record or from to and just say we want to send it to the first record because those are non-existing email addresses and this is uh, my uh, mintianalyst.com email address that's it it uses outlook and uh, sends it and here's the email message that i got one thing to remember when using mail merge is that it's going to use your default email account so if you want to be sending out of your newsletter email you need to make sure that it's selected as the default account in outlook 
As you see, it's quite easy to manage uh, a small newsletter completely on your own, just using the Microsoft Office tools that you probably already have. I found out that uh, instead of like having five different subscriptions to the same newsletter uh, provider or different ones, it's much easier to just have those uh, Excel files that have my address books and uh, use Mail Merge to distribute uh, content. So if you're interested in trying out uh, Minty tools, leave your email in the first link uh, in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, there's, and there's also sometimes um, kind of, and it's also, what I do is I'll have like a WordPress uh, So let's open first link in the description below.